hey guys welcome back to another video today's video we are getting ready for my birthday trip hey guys welcome back to another vlog today i have so much to do i ugh, i'm filming outside and it gives me so much anxiety today i have so much to do i leave for my birthday cruise in two days and i have a ton of errands to run i just went and got my lunch though because it's three o'clock and i still haven't eaten so i got some panera bread and i brought my bunny with me because she needed lots of attention today so i figured i'd bring her out plus get her used to the car ride since she has to be in the car again tomorrow here she is oh, she's getting up <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Okay, <laughs> let me bring her home. She clearly does not like this, and she's been out long enough. But it's good to get her used to it, especially because she has to be in the car tomorrow when we drop her to the bunny sitter. I'm going to bring her home right now, though. And then we're going to commence on our long day full of errands and travel prep because... Time is ticking and I have to get everything ready. I want to be packed by the end of the day because tomorrow I'm going to spend time with my family and I always do stuff last minute. Like literally every single vacation I go on, I'm packing the night of. And every single cruise, this is going to be my fourth cruise, and every single cruise I've been on, I'm like, I'm going to pack early, I'm going to pack early. Usually like I want to pack two days earlier, a few weeks early. It's always the night of and the flight is always early in the morning. So we're not doing that this time. Alright you guys, so I'm back and I'm going to take out the bunny. This is usually her nap time anyway. Alright you guys, I'm back in the car and I really wish that I had a car mount for my camera because the only time I can vlog in the car is when I'm stopped or at a red light. So I wish I could vlog and drive instead of having to be literally parked or at a red light. But anyway, today we have to go pick up um, some books from Barnes & Nobles for my vacation so I can read on the beach or on the cruise because I'm going on a cruise ship if I didn't say that. I'm going on a seven day Caribbean cruise but I'll get into the details later. So I need to pick up my books from Barnes & Nobles. I ordered them for pickup. I needed to pick up some white sandals to go with two of my outfits, but they just emailed me and told me that they canceled my order probably because they don't have them anymore. So that sucks. But I also have to run to the bank, get cash for tips, and then I also have to um, get thank you cards. So like anyone that like waits on us during our cruise, what was the last thing I was saying? Oh yeah, I need to get cash, that way we can tip the porters. Anyone um, that waits on us in like our room, like the stateroom attendant, um, or like even if we are um, at any of the private islands or in any of the other ports because we're going to four, like we just want to be able to tip people cash so that way they can have, you know, like their money like in their hand or whatever. Um, and I want to get thank you cards too. So like if I like want to leave my stateroom attendant a tip, I'll put it in a thank you card and like write a nice little note before we leave. And I also have to find shoes down since DSW canceled my order. And what else? And I think I have to do some laundry today because a couple of my like outfits that I want to bring, I need to wash them. So moral of the story, we have a ton to do today, so let's get into it. All right, you guys, so I just made it to Barnes & Nobles, and I'm gonna go pick up my books. But I think when I'm in there, I'm gonna do a little bit of browsing to see if I can find any other books that I wanna get. It is a brand new day. After I went into Barnes and Nobles, I ended up going to the mall, which was like five minutes away, and spent two hours walking around trying to find some shoes, only to not find any, but we have some good news, but I'll talk about that in like two seconds. However, it's Saturday, we leave tomorrow, Sunday morning, 
and currently we're about to go drop off our bunny so we're preparing all of her stuff to like leave with the bunny sitter i packed her pellets and i just kind of like wrote on this bag like how much to give her and then also her treats i only put enough for like how many nights so that way she doesn't like kind of get too much treats while we're gone um then i also packed her this little crunchy stick because she really likes this and she's already been nibbling on this if you can see it and then her bowl of course this is for like her salad in the morning and her water dish so we're gonna pack all this in a bag her travel bag is right here and then we just packed um well my boyfriend he just um set up her hay feeder but like the bunny sitter is really nice so like she does all of this and like provides the hay and like the lettuce like every day but we like to send her with like a freshly prepared hay feeder so that way she's kind of comfortable when she gets there at least on day one here she is she likes hanging out in the shower Hi. Are you ready to leave? We're gonna be gone for eight days, okay? On our last cruise in November, we were gone for only, well, we had her, the cruise was six days, but we dropped her off the night before. So she was like away for seven, seven days. And she literally came back and she was acting like she did not know where she was, even though she's lived here for like at that point in time like maybe like six months but she was acting like she did not know where she was when she came back and it was so sad like she wasn't going to like her normal like hidey places or like you know like the places that she like relaxes so yeah i'm like really sad to leave her and the last time i was like thinking about it the whole time we were there but like the bunny sitter like she sent us pictures and videos and it was so cute but like all week i've been thinking oh my goodness we're leaving her again and i just hope that she's okay but we're about to go drop her off but before that we have to pick up her forage mat from the laundry i dropped it in the washer um and right now it's in the dryer and it should be done so we're gonna pick that up on the way and drop her off the bunny sitter is only like 10 15 minutes away and then we have to go on with the rest of our day i did not pack yesterday which i wanted to pack and i'm so sad i didn't pack and i still have to go home to see my family before i leave so a few things to do today and our flight's early in the morning and hopefully we're able to get some sleep. We would have to go to sleep at like 10 o'clock to get at least like six hours. And to be honest, I don't think that's gonna happen, but fingers crossed, maybe it will. Hi. Okay, you guys, so we just got back from dropping off our bunny and I'm excited to say the white shoe saga has finally come to an end because after making this order two times at two different stores and them both getting canceled the day I was supposed to pick them up and shopping in the mall for over two hours also on two different days. We have some white sandals and the only reason, the only reason I have white sandals is because the store that canceled my order the second time, my boyfriend still decided to go after I told him don't go because they're not going to have it. He went and asked them to look in the back and they were like, okay, we'll look in the back. They didn't have it. But then they said, you know what? Let's, he actually asked them like how often they do inventory because like the shoes kept saying that they were in the store, but it got canceled twice. So the person was like honest and told them how like they don't really do the inventory that often. But then they, did they offer or did you ask them to check another store? Um, he offered. So then the guy offered to like check to see if another store has it because one other store in the area said that they do have, again, one left in stock in my exact size, which the last two stores did the same thing. They only have one left and it was my exact size, but they both canceled it. So he called them to confirm they had it and surprisingly, they did. Okay, so here are the sandals. Okay, they look good. I'm gonna try them on. But they look cute and I needed something like platform. I had some sandals that were just like this but they had a strap, like a back strap. And then my brother's dog chewed it up. So, let's see if I'm a lucky gal. Oh my goodness, they fit. You guys have no idea how stressed I was about not being able to find shoes because two or like three of my outfits require, no, only two of them 
I had a secondary outfit that I was thinking about using like for one of the like um, dinners but I'm gonna leave it but that outfit also would have required white platform shoes all right so now I have my white sandal situation sorted out I'm gonna go home and see my family they're in Brooklyn and I'm probably gonna spend a few hours over there and then come back and finish packing so I'll probably talk to you guys for a bit in the car but when I get back later is when I'm gonna do all my packing of course the night of because I can never ever ever plan a trip and pack in advance like I want to you guys will never believe what time it is it's literally after midnight and guess what I'm doing we won't even talk about how that happened but let me get into what I'm packing really really quickly so that way I can pack and then eat shower and go to bed because it's so late and we have to be up in like three hours so this pile right here is all of my day outfits and I'm pretty sure I have like seven right here are all of my like dressy dinner outfits um, for like one for formal night um, a dress for my birthday and then one outfit for like a night we go to the main dining room because you need to be like a little bit more dressy you don't have to it's still casual instead of wearing like shorts I'm just gonna wear some pants if we go to the main dining room for a second time and then these are all my bathing suits I literally packed seven I think and then I'm deciding on if I want to pack like an extra one because I don't really know which ones I'm gonna wear yet and then I have a pile with my workout clothes I have two workout outfits a pile with PJs all right so these are all the shoes I'm bringing I just have these slides some flip-flops for like the shower some brown sandals these are from target just some strappy sandals these white steve madden platforms you guys already know the story behind this my favorite slides ever my gucci slides these are so comfortable and then these pink tory birch jelly slides i want to love these so much because it's my favorite favorite color ever and i just think it's really cute but they haven't grown on me comfortability wise yet so hopefully they will if not these might be getting returned when i get back but the look i'm obsessed with comfort level not so much just yet but we'll see i had also bought these birkenstocks because i couldn't find white sandals and like i wanted something really comfortable and that's why this whole thing even started because i needed comfortable white sandals and they were saying that these are supposed to be really good for walking and like for people with like flat feet and like it's good for arch support but to be honest I think they're cute but they weren't that comfortable so I'm gonna be returning these since I have these now but that'll happen when we get back as well okay here's a better look at everything I'm bringing PJs underwear um, workout clothes sun hat bathing suits formal dinner outfits and then day outfit now i have to fit all of this stuff in here i had two of these before and i don't know what the other one is so now i have to find a way to fit everything in here i'll show you guys when i'm done if it actually fits but some stuff might have to go in a different bag this is one of my favorite sunscreens it's just like a roll-on super goop um invisible sunscreen lysol for cleaning the room got some listerine moisturizer some lotion like this stuff is like body wash and face wash um eye wash for me because i have bad allergies and i rub my eyes so i always have to have this handy and then of course we have a lot more sunscreen where that came from this one i got free at my job when i did like a cancer like skin screening they gave me this black girl sunscreen for free, which I thought was really cool. And then this Trader Joe's um, sunscreen. We have three of them because even though it says facial sunscreen, we do use them for like our body as well. So we just got a few of them so that way it lasts us. A mini first aid kit and then tons of wet ones because I'm a germaphobe and when you're on a cruise, of course, you want to make sure you have lots of wipes, even for like after you eat or like whatever. Um like to keep these handy and I keep this in like whatever purse or bag we're carrying I'll have a few of these in there here's everything I'm gonna try to fit in here oh wait I forgot we also got obviously travel size 
tooth um, toothpaste, got my toothbrush. I don't know if it's just me, but I like bringing brand new toothbrushes on cruises. I mean, when I go on vacation. So yeah, I got a brand new toothbrush specifically for this vacation. Suitcase is all packed. Jerry actually packed mine because he's a more efficient packer. Here's that Amazon backpack that I'm pretty sure was viral on TikTok. I love it and I also kind of hate it because there's so many random pockets. It's like, what do I fill all these pockets with? But it really does fit a lot of stuff. And like, the fact that it has so many pockets is literally a pro and a con. Because on one end, you have so many pockets to put things in. But then on another end, it's just like, okay, it's kind of annoying how many pockets there are. Like this. But like, it looks weird here, so it's kind of annoying. But it's a laundry part. Like, it's like a little, like, dirty laundry bag. And you put it in from the bottom, which is really cool. So... I packed um, some extra slides in here, a beach bag, bathing suit cover up, snorkeling mask, the carry on bag. It did, it did not fit everything, so Jerry has the other half of the stuff in his bag and a Ziploc. And then my sun hat. And I'm also going to put my laptop in here. And I'm going to show you guys um, exactly what I got from Barnes and Nobles yesterday because I never got to do a little haul. So I got three books, and then I also have a few other books that i'm like undecided which ones to bring and i kind of want to do it by theme so on one end it's like i want to only bring one book and just read that one book the whole vacation but on another end it's just like i kind of want to like read based off my mood my vibe and like where i am so we'll see i got these three yesterday birds of california it kind of reminds me of the show reboot on hulu if you guys are familiar with it it's like these old basically a show gets rebooted and like the people that played in the show when they were children or whatever or when they were younger they kind of come back and reboot the show this is based on child actors though and like they their show is getting rebooted and they like end up having you know like a romance so this sounds cool but i do plan on going to california this year to LA so I think I might bring this when I'm there. Then I got Powerable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler. I heard this book is really really good. A lot of people said it got them back into reading or out of a reading slump so I'm kind of excited about reading this book because she's a really known author like Octavia E. Butler's books are a classic so I'm kind of interested in reading this one and then one of the places we're going to is Haiti so I think I want to read this when I'm there, even though we're going to be in Labadee, which is a Royal Caribbean's private island. But I think I might read this while I'm there, you know, based off, like, the vibes. I just realized now that I'm over here in the kitchen, in the cabinet, which is where you guys are, I didn't pack my vitamins. So, I have this little thing. I'm just going to go ahead and put all my vitamins in this and put it in my bag so that way I don't slack all my vitamin and supplement routine while i'm away which it'll definitely be really important since one i'll be on a cruise with lots of people and lots of germs um not that cruise, cruises are a journey because i really appreciate that royal caribbean does make sure everyone washes their hands and like they're always sanitizing and they don't play about washing your hands they always remind you but there's still lots of people so where there are people there are always going to be germs so i'm going to make sure that i have my vitamins and then also because you're going to be eating so much food and stuff I gotta make sure that I have my probiotic, um, my pre and probiotic. So I'm gonna pack this stuff and then I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog because honestly, it's really late. This is pretty much the end of our travel prep and it's literally the last three hours before our trip. Um, and I didn't even tell you guys where we're going. So the cruise is seven nights, I think Eastern Caribbean or Western Caribbean. I'm not sure, I always get them confused. Um, we're going to La Bari Haiti, which is where Caribbean's private island, well, one of their private islands. Then Puerto Rico on my birthday. This will be my first time in San Juan, so I'm really, really excited. And then we're also going to St. Thomas and uh, Coco Cay, which is Royal Caribbean's private island in the Palmas and my favorite place ever so i'm really excited i'm gonna bring you guys along for the whole thing i'm gonna try to do like vlogs and tiktoks we'll see how it goes um wish me luck so this wraps the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe down below and stay tuned for the cruise vlogs i'm so excited to share all that with you and i'll see you guys in my next video